what the hell? You just retake it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Random ass <laughs> This is Adam Corn, guys. You don't know who he is. Can't be put her own. <laughs> this is the booth. So, Adam Corn, how long have you been doing this? Doing what? Bending at Frankenstein. Bending? Uh, I've been bending for like, like three and a half, four years total. How do you like it? How do I like it? Um, it, it's definitely profitable. Um, I definitely make a good amount of money here. It's definitely worth being here. I show up every Wednesday and I show up every Saturday. Uh, it's only two days a week, so I show up both days. And based on both days, like I wouldn't rather have any other job on a Wednesday or a Saturday. So walk me through a typical day of yours. What do you do to get by through the day? A typical day to get by? Getting by is... Uh, Getting by is like almost you're spitting in my face. Like getting by is like garbage to me. So you like it, I guess. Getting by? I like getting by. No, you like the you like doing. Oh this. yes, I I do like. I bending. could tell you like it when I, I talk do. to you. Oh well, yeah, 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 of course I like it. Because um, honestly, at Frankenstein's, we're surrounded by people who pay uh, extremely competitive prices. And we're surrounded by them, so you have to pay competitive prices to get the cards you want. To buy cards that are worth money and that you want in your inventory, you definitely have to pay competitive prices. Um, so what I do like about Frankenstein is that I feel like a lot of my competition, as you can see, let's go. We got Yu-Gi-Oh! Vendor. Can we can we take a walk? Yes. Come on, we we go walk with Adam. Come on. <laughs> So we have Yu-Gi-Oh! Vendor. Yu-Gi-Oh! Vendor. We have multiple Yu-Gi-Oh! Vendors. Multiple. And then we have Yu-Gi-Oh! Vendor. We have Yu-Gi-Oh! Vendor. Yu-Gi-Oh! Vendor. Yu-Gi-Oh! Vendor. And Yu-Gi-Oh! Vendor. So, oh, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Vendor. <laughs> Wait, back to back, like 10 Yu-Gi-Oh! Vendors. So that's like mad competition already. Like, Okay, so first of all, you guys gotta understand there's a lot of competition at Frankenstein's Warehouse. There's a lot of competition. There's a lot of cards going around. There's a lot of circulation to inventory. And then, so basically, a lot of people have a lot of different cards. So like, say you want a certain card, there's a lot of people to possibly that might have your card. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like okay, and then and then of course we have the the tournament play area. Tournament play area. <laughs> we got you guys. Oh, we got Mongo. <laughs> Mongo. We got Tony, of course. That one. Okay, so we got you guys play central right here. Oh, is that Jonathan the bum? Did you top in some shit? <laughs> We got another camera. Did you top in some shit? Oh man. <laughs> Okay, Ms. Jonathan Navarro, SJC, top 8 -ish. If you guys want to review back the meta game, uh, he might be on there. He topped with uh, the gear, gear, well, no, 22 Defender. No, no, nigga. 22 Defender, gear, gear. Uh, it's some, some shit. He was playing Monarchs, <laughs> and people were playing Cyber Dragon. So, like, he would set that shit and had 2200 defense. I know already. What is it? What is it? Come on, tell me. <laughs> you forgot the name. But he topped with it though. Okay, so anyways, we have Frankenstein's, we have Yu-Gi-Oh! Player Set. Of course. Everybody says, look at how many Yu-Gi-Oh! Players are in There's one so building many. on a Wednesday. Wednesday, like, who has locals on a Wednesday? No one. A lot of people? No, not really, right? So like, yeah, there's a lot of people here on a Wednesday afternoon who are here to buy cards, sell cards, play Yu-Gi-Oh, play in the tournament, etc. So there's a lot of people, I mean, for a Wednesday afternoon, definitely a lot of people. <laughs> so, so yeah. yeah. So, um, anything else you might think of that you want to say to uh, YouTube? Yeah, back to my video, like, I work at Frankenstein's. I have a booth here. I have competitive prices. I price my cards according to the competition, if you've already seen, a lot of vendors. So I price my cards according to them. Uh, some people sell things for extremely cheap here. I've heard of these vendors getting super ripped off before. Uh, and I price my cards according. I don't ever get ripped off. I price my cards fair. I price my cards uh, to where I can afford to make money, but to where I can't sell them to lose money. So as long as I'm making money, everything's good. You know, I have to make money in order for my deal to be adequate. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, things are good. I mean, I sell cards by Vanguard. I don't know if anybody's interested in that. 
I do sell Card Fight Vanguard though. I have a little bit of it, not as much as other people. Um, some people do have a lot of it, but it's not blowing up as big as I would have thought, so yeah. I'm not intrigued to buy that much of it. So, but yeah, anyways, I do have everything to offer though. I do have like almost every card you could possibly want. Ultimate Thunder King, DLS. I do have like almost every card. I have Senior Tour, I have, I mean, I have card, and this is one of each on display. I do have everything, multiples, multiple, multiple cards in the back. Yeah. So like anything you see out here, I probably have more of, I probably have multiple of, I probably have more than multiple of. So I feel like I'm one of the strongest vendors here. Today is kind of a slow day. It's Wednesday. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's Wednesday. There's, there's not that many customers here. There's a lot of people here who like to play. So I, you know, people who like to play usually know what their cards are worth. They usually want to get full value for their cards. They don't want to like get chipped on anything. So I mean, I'm here today to trade cards that people need and be fair with them. And I'm here today to sell, you know, deck boxes. I have sleeves, I have mats, I have, you know, all the side product that you go in tours. And other than that, I mean, there's really not much to say. The people here are cool. I feel like a lot of the vendors um, undercut people to uh, to get, you know, the best deal. You know, oh, I'll sell it for 20. Oh, everybody else is selling for 25, so I'll just sell it for 20. You probably bought it for like, you know, people buy stuff for usually like 50, 60% of what a card's worth. So like 60%, you know, would be like 25, 60%, 25 would be like 17, $18, you know. Some people buy it for like 8, 17, 18 and sell it for 25. That's a lot of what's going on here today. You give good values. I know that firsthand. I do give you a price. I usually give at least 60%. Sometimes more towards 70, 75%, depending on how bad I need the card. Alright, so if people don't know who Adam Korn is... Uh... And they fucking up. Just straight up. Then if you don't know who Adam Korn is... This guy. you are just... No, I'm, I'm really joking. I know. Uh, I, hope, I hope YouTube can get a grasp on my sense of humor through the videos. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. So, uh, uh, what type of uh, events have you done good in? What type of events? What, yeah, I, I'm heard. a national champion, a shun and jump champion. And I have more tops than anybody in the whole community. Uh, a couple of decks you've piloted to uh, be famous, such as Salvo Dad, are there any other decks like that? Salvo, uh, Salvo Dad, the Corn Monarchs, of course. Um, I mean, those are my main decks, but like, I don't know, I have other decks right now. Right now, I feel like there's not much room for innovation in Yu-Gi-Oh. I feel like the decks that are out are the decks that are out, and the decks that are out are the decks that are good. Yeah, so it's not really. I, I feel like there's not much room for, for like, creativity, you know what I mean? So... I feel like there's not much room for that. I feel like whatever's out is out, whatever's good is good. And I feel like there's a better choice than the other choices, so. All right, thanks a lot. Uh, you've been awesome. And uh, YouTube wants me to shake your hand, so shake my hand. Oh, yeah. This is Adam Corn, guys. This is his booth. Check him out. And that's it. Thanks a lot, YouTube. This is Concrete for Life. Keeping it real. Signing out.